Hey guys, welcome back to NAB Show Live 2015. I'm Callie Lewis. I'm uh, you're David Foster. Yeah, stop, yeah, yeah. stop sorry. staring at the new toys. I'm David Foster, yes. <laughs> but I mean, it's like you sit something like, it's like squirrel. This is like the ultimate <laughs> squirrel right here. Well, let's fill him in on what we have. We have Roger from 3D Robotics. Welcome. Hey, thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we got to know you guys at our 3D Palooza event we had. And, and I got to say, like, I, I had seen some drones before, but never anything like you guys. It was just amazing. This is a <laughs> flying squirrel. Yeah, this is a flying is. squirrel. Yeah, 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 <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Uh, so th uh, we saw the Iris Plus. Okay. That made yep. huge waves yep. in the industry yep. because of its automated capabilities. Yeah, tons of autonomy with the Iris Plus. It's a fun drone to fly, but I mean, this is, you know, hands down next level. If you're talking about autonomy and like, you know, ease of use, this is like, you know, totally the, the next generation. This is a smart drone. It's got computer power. It really does everything that you need it to do. If you don't want to fly, you just want to get great shots, you can let this thing handle camera work. The flying, all the positioning. Well, and that's and that's something I was just going to ask. Yeah. Like you, you say you fly the drone, and I know that it, you used to have to actually fly it. These <laughs> days, if you don't want to, you can just. Yeah. I mean, even on the one that they brought over, he just drew a circle around the building, and it more or less just followed the track. Right. With this one, you don't even have to draw the circle. It's got a mode called what? orbit mode. Yes, yeah, so these computers they power smart shots. They power automatic uh, cinematography. So it's push button. You want to take a picture of a lighthouse, right? You want to take a an orbit, a wraparound shot of a lighthouse. Lighthouse, like an iconic shot. You fly up to the lighthouse, you get the camera set up, all right, so this is what I want to look at. You press orbit mode, and then a donut, you know, a virtual donut appears around the lighthouse, and you're wow. locked onto that. The camera stays on the lighthouse. You can fly it yourself as slow or as fast as you want in any direction around that. Or on the app, you just hit play, and Solo does the whole thing for you. You can control the speed. You can adjust the radius in real time. It's all hands-free if you don't want to fly it. If you want to rip around, fly free flight. This thing is bad now, boy. It goes 55 miles an hour. But yeah, we know most people don't want to do that. That poses yeah. the question. Sure. So if I'm doing that, and does it have technology? Let's say a bird flies out in its path. Uh huh. Does it have the technology to know to stop? The bird or does has it that just technology built into it. It, it, it <laughs> should. <laughs> it yeah. should. But we you know, pigeons are kind of slow yeah. at taking off. There was if this it's going time yeah. that I was driving. <laughs> I won't go into the entire story, but the Please bird don't. did not use its but own built-in yeah. technology. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I will say and that. Or there was a you know, it was flaw, right? Yeah. You know, like <laughs> but but any kind of there's a bug in the bird. But any kind of obstacle, you know, is there something there that stops it from? From hitting that if it's already created that dome. Yeah, I mean, right now, uh, sense and avoid technology, it's actually just not quite there yet. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, you know, with a much larger, much more expensive systems, you know, yeah. you can start getting that sort of stuff. But, like, for consumer drones, it's just not there yet. Right. We're, you know, tons of people are working on it and it's coming in the future. The really great thing about Solo, though, is that it's an open platform. So it's a product, and if you just want to have the drone and fly it, that's really great. But it's also a platform that has this built in open bay. So there's an accessory bay, and once sense and avoid technology is you know, humming is working great. Solo, you don't have to buy Solo 2 now with Sense and Avoid, right? You just take the accessory and you just pop it onto the bottom of Solo, right? Or it works through the camera, through a wireless update from our app or something, right? You get Sense and Avoid in the Solo that you bought today, six months down the road. So this is a platform that we can make better and it's also open for other companies to make better and too. And so that's wow. your platform? That's This is our platform, it's that's completely awesome. open. So we have this accessory bay. Uh, that's smart too, keeping we, it open. Oh yeah, Solo it? is smart, this is the smart drone, you know? And it, it, that word might sound a little bit trite or something, <laughs> but it is the word for it, it really is. You wanna see the accessory yeah, bay? Let's yeah, it's just, dig in. yeah, it's just a place here uh, on the bottom. And so you've got the port okay. that you can plug into. The gimbal bay is also open. Uh, our gimbal, we actually work with GoPro oh, to nice. make this gimbal. Okay. So this, go this gimbal has exclusive access to all GoPro controls. It can charge your GoPro while you're flying. You can start, stop, record. You can take pictures. You can change like white balance in real time. You can oh, change, wow. yeah, you can change frames per second that you're shooting. You change your field of Wait, view. While it's on a flight, while it's you flying, can you can do it. Things yeah, it and not through the GoPro app, but through our app, right? All just push button stuff wow. right at your fingertips. But that's GoPro, right? And so what's awesome about it is that, well, we've got GoPro 3, we've got Hero 4, we've got Hero 4 Black, right? And like GoPro keeps getting better. This gimbal will take GoPro 5, right? So the Hero 5 will come up. And the, your solo, you don't need to get a new solo. Again, you just get the new GoPro, right? Yeah. So as GoPro gets better, this gets better. If you don't want to shoot on GoPro, the gimbal bay itself is open. So I've heard a lot of buzz uh, from the Black Magic 
right? They've got this small action camera that's really big here at NBA. I've heard a lot of people coming up, can't you fly that on this? And it's like, well, not yet, but the gimbal bay is open. So if someone says, hey, it'd be a good idea to make a gimbal that could fly this camera that everyone wants to fly, I could make a lot of money off of that. <laughs> We're open to it. Okay. You know, work with us, put the gimbal on there. It can access all of Solo's technology. You don't have to buy Solo Black Magic. You just buy the gimbal. So it's just Solo, Solo, Solo. So we need to talk because I need to find a way to get my iPhone 6 Plus on there. <laughs> oh, oh, on there? Yeah, yeah on a gimbal. Wanna, yeah, I mean, it's open. Just develop it. <laughs> Right yeah. on. You do it. <laughs> you can make the money. On the top here, yeah. is, is this uh, is this where what's ha what's in in this piece up here? Okay, this is uh, this is the box. Smart Battery, right? That's so this the battery. yeah, this battery actually interacts uh, with the uh, the computer on the controller okay. to give you like really accurate uh, information about like battery life coming. Mm -hmm. So the controller will buzz when you're running low. It knows how far away it is and when to come back. And um, what is the average flight time of? 20 minutes. It's 20 minutes with all the stuff on it, and if you take all the stuff off and you want to rip around, you get five more minutes. So oh it's 25 wow. without, yeah, absolutely. And uh, like the other stuff in here, so it's got a, an autopilot, but it's also got a one gigahertz Linux computer. Nice. Right? So those two things are working together for flight control, which means the autopilot is like, uh, our knowledge is like the brainstem now. So it takes a lot of pressure off it, just focuses on keeping the thing in the air, keeping it straight, right? And then all the advanced stuff, that goes to this huge you know, processor, this Linux computer, that works with another Linux computer in the controller. So the autopilot has very little to do, and that you know, reduces the risk of a firmware freeze, you know, the dreaded flyaway, right. we've mm -hmm. reduced the risk of that. If you have a flyaway, if you fly by a cell phone tower or something, it just takes off. All that information is saved in that second computer on the controller, 500 parameters of flight data, 10 times a second. If your copter's gone, we still have it. We prompt you on the app, hey, you had a problem. Do you want to submit a support ticket? Yes, I do. All the black box information gets sent there. Wow. If you've lost wow. your copter and it's our fault, we replace the copter. We replace the gimbal. We even give you full credit to replace the GoPro that you lost. Wow. We can see That's all amazing. of that in the data. Yeah, That's awesome. Absolutely. That's really cool. That's yeah, I mean, the it's, wow it's factor. It's the entire that, experience. You know, yeah. it's like it's buying the thing, it's flying the thing, it's filming, making all that easy. But then also, you know, if something goes wrong, standing behind your yeah, product. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. So I mean, why not, right? Right. Why, why not? not? And what money back would we be getting? Like, what are these <laughs> run? Oh, that's. <laughs> that was a good segue. <laughs> Snap. All right. Uh, so this is 9.99 um, for the copter. And for the controller, if you want the three-axis stabilization and all that GoPro and that automated uh, uh, intelligent camera work, right? That gimbal is another three ninety-nine. Okay. So you're fourteen hundred all in. That's impressive. Yeah. Well, I got four hundred dollars on me. What okay. do you have? Um, about five. Okay, let's. Why don't you just leave this five, here? Five. I'll take the extra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, one other question. As oh, but Dave Curley just threw his wallet <laughs> at us. Thanks, Dave. Take my money. Uh, <laughs> So uh, I know that as if you do lose battery, yeah. you know there are some drones that will just. Uh, I, Drop I think from all them. of them. <laughs> I think all of them have that technology now. Yeah. Correct. Return home. Yep. Return Absolutely. home. Absolutely. Okay. It returns right home. And also we have a return home button here, a return home land. So there's a, a so bunch of safety features, right? Because okay. I mean, frankly, flying drones is tricky. Anyone who's flown a drone knows that. They're not really, you know, all that yeah. intuitive, and our thumbs are fallible things, mm -hmm. right? So when you take this thing off the ground, you don't even have to start flying it. We have a built-in, like, an app-based flight simulator called Flight School. So before you take your $1,000 investment up in the nice. air, you can get it. It's with these controls on your controller. Oh, cool. You get a feel for the sticks. That. When you turn around, you realize that the sticks become inverted. You go, oh, okay, you're not risking, you're not flying it into a tree. Nice. If you do fly it into a tree. <laughs> Or you're about to. It starts drifting, and you're not sure which way to hit it. You're like, oh, man, it's moving too fast. I think if I press it this way, it might even make the problem worse. What do I do? Just watch it drift into a tree. Watch it drift into a wall. You can hit a panic button. We have an emergency air brake right here. It pulls it right to a stop. Hovers. You can get your bearings, right? Regain them. If you're still a little bit nervous, you just press return home. Wow. comes home. It lands right where it took off. Yeah. Wow. That is amazing, and, and that's that's cool because that that is one thing. I was playing with just a little one, and I you know I didn't know what to do, you know. Yeah, so they have that that tutorial no, on yeah, there. Yeah, it, you get that orientation. It's really easy, especially for new pilots, and so many people. I mean, yeah, because once it gets drones, flipped around, it's yeah, like and backwards. Yeah, we want you to and give you the confidence to get this thing up and flying because it's so much fun, and there's so much you can do, and we want people to be creative with these things now and not have to worry about building up a skill set over months or, or years, yeah. right? I want to get this shot today. Well, you can get it today, and you can have the confidence to get the drone up and fly it, and that's that's what's so important to us. It's like, you know, yeah. democratizing movement. I love this because, you know, Carter York back there in the control room is always dr uh, 
dro driving his drones. That's flying. hard to say. Flying his drones. <laughs> driving. <laughs> yeah. He's driving. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and he is, he's really good at it, yeah. you know, and we kind of let him do it all. And, but I, I kind of want to do it myself too, right? Russian, but <laughs> now yeah. I think with this solo, I am challenging you, Carter, back there in the control room. Oh, to listen up, Carter. <laughs> this is a challenge. She's pointing her finger at you. <laughs> thank you so much no for problem. taking hey, the thank time you to guys. show us. Yeah, it was a pleasure. Uh, this thing, just to plug real quick, ships late May. It's available in 400 Best Buys across America. Nice. You can pre-order right now on our website, 3dr.com. If you're here, go to our booth. It's so awesome. What's the booth number? Uh, C43, I think. It's right next to Panasonic. <laughs> yeah. It's huge and green. And, and they got a demo station in there. They're yeah. flying them so yeah, you can see them in action. Just look for where the people are, like, the jobs Yeah, are I know. Every yeah. drone thing has a little group yeah. of people. So. Yeah, listen <laughs> for the buzz. Yeah, <laughs> cool. 3dr.com. Much appreciated. Hey, hey, thank you guys. I really had fun. David, yeah. cool, you, you have a little drool. I know. Well, <laughs> but I, we already <laughs> established that this stays here because it touched the desk. So, indeed. Great. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, we do have more drones coming up tomorrow, so be sure to stick around for that at geekbeat.tv slash NAB show. And what's the hashtag? The hashtag is hashtag NAB show. Awesome. So be out there on social posting that, and uh, we'll get your picture up on the tag board. Uh, Carter, show them the tag board real quick. There you go. <laughs> there we go. And that's uh, everything that's happening here. Uh, Your if you tag it on Instagram, right here. Twitter, yep, Google Plus, Facebook. Indeed. Yep. He's David Foster. She's Callie Lewis. Bye, guys. <laughs>